just read that email and see some pictures from our missionaries that um, left their homeland, Burma, and went to Laos and, and, and Cambodia, living there for years and leading people to Christ, having planted several churches. But I may never see those brothers in person, nor the believers. But I know someday when I get to see Jesus, there will be multitudes and no man can number around the throne. Why? Because today, wherever you may be, the Lord placed you here. Live the way the Lord would want you to live as aliens, strangers, and pilgrims. Don't belong to this earth and the culture or whatever that is um, destroying us from being like Christ. There are four recommendations I will give. Hopefully, the practical applications you can take and, and do something with it. One, um, I don't know about this church, but wherever I go, I recommend more and more now, stop a lot of Bible studies, but convert that hour or hour and a half for prayer. Um, we cannot know the Lord intimately, nor can we be used by him without understanding the meaning of time with God. Average Christians spend less than eight minutes a day in prayer. Can you imagine you spend eight minutes with your family a day and think that you can know them? No one. How can you know God without spending time with him? Add more time to your prayer life. Seek to take a day of the week for fasting and prayer. By the way, if you fast one day of the week and pray, you die, you please let me know. I can assure you, um, the Lord give you the grace. But the reason I'm saying this to you, you know, we are six boys in my family that I grew up back in India. My mother um, used to spend three, four hours a day, early morning hours alone in prayer. And she never revealed this to anyone. One of her prayer was that out of six boys, one of them will go and preach the gospel. Every Friday for three and a half years, she fasted and prayed specifically for that one prayer request, although she never disclosed that to me or anyone. And I'm the result of her prayer. You are agonizing about your children, grandchildren, your family. Counseling is very good. Books are good. But nothing is going to take the place of being with God. And get a world map. And we have world map.